Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is Martino, I'm the founder of the London Saxophone School. We're here to help you master your skills on the saxophone, whether it's with lessons, courses, workshops, and masterclasses and whatnot. So if you have any questions saxophone related, just be sure to put them here below in the comments and it will be my pleasure to help you out. Now, a few days ago, we had our masterclass with Bob Reynolds, which was incredible, it was amazing. He talked a lot about very important saxophone concepts that you need to know in order to develop as a saxophone player. And in the masterclass, he talked talked a lot about timing and developing a great time feel. And I thought of sharing with you a little extract about the part in which he talks about timing because the vision that he has, you know, the way he approaches practicing time feel, I think is, is truly incredible. So I'm going to share with you a small clip from the masterclass. And if you want to access the full masterclass, I'm going to leave the link here below for you to check it out more. Okay. Now, if you like the content, just be sure to give it a like at the end of the video. And that's all. So now let's hear what Bob has to say about developing a great time feel. And I We'll see you in the next video. Take care. Bye bye. So that was a 12 bar blues in F. Did that, did that feel good? Don't answer that. All right, now I'm going to abandon the scales. I'm only going to use notes that are in the chords. So I'm going to lim limit myself just to the chord tones, seventh chords. But I'm still just focusing on the actual content of the notes more than anything. <laughs> Thumbs up if you could recognize the sound of a blues more in that version than the first version. Okay. Now, third version. I will still limit myself to the chord tones, but I will apply rhythm. Like, a, I'll, I'll focus on the rhythm more than the notes. So I know what notes I'm going to improvise with. It's going to be only notes from the seventh chords. I'm not going to worry about the scales, but I'm going to focus more intently on on producing a rhythm. So I'm gonna sort of, like I was saying before, treat myself like a rhythm section player. So the first thing, if, if I were the drummer playing the blues, I'm not really, like the first thing I'm gonna do is set up the groove. So let me think of a tempo here. One, two, one, two, three, four. Uh, 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 do, ba, do, ba, 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 Okay, could you tell in that version more than the previous two that I was playing a 12 bar blues? So the, the key difference, no pun intended here, was that I first and foremost was focusing on the rhythm, right? I'm being in that scenario first, a drummer. Second, after being a drummer, I guess you could say I'm being the bass player. I'm outlining the significant notes in the chord which is more or less what the bass player does. Thirdly, I'm behaving like a piano player and I'm trying to connect some of those notes eloquently. Let's see, um, let me give you an example. And I, I, Martino, we didn't try this one. I'm gonna try to share my screen, but it's for an app, this keyboard app. 
you know, going back to that first example where I was doing this sort of wandering scale thing. <laughs> Somebody, I don't know if we can do a raise, raise the hand thing. What makes that particularly awkward? That what I just played right there. Well, Martino, maybe I don't know how you want to handle this. Is what makes that super awkward? It's just all over the place. It's 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 all over the place. There's there's no uniformity to the yeah. distance between the notes, right? I'm just kind of like I'm picking the notes, and, and as like I said, okay, they're the notes are quote unquote correct. They fall in a G mixolydian scale. The chord says G7, check that box, check that box. But rhythmically, they're a hot mess. They just make no sense. Whereas when I go back to... instantly there is a context there there's a rhythmic context to make music even without a band without a play along just entirely by ourselves everybody with me so far i guess just give me a thumbs up okay so just to get into some nitty gritty about the about how i approach practicing with this stuff um, all of this for me comes back to working very diligently mostly with a metronome um, you know most of the time you know play alongs or playing with records or playing through